Okay, inside now. Uh, this seat right here uh, slides forward. You just push it. Uh, your freshwater tank is stored under here. Um, so when you hook up your hose over there, that's where it's filling. Uh, you have seating here for passengers and the table. Uh, and then this, you pull down that little knob right there. Uh, maybe it'll do it. Oh, yeah. It swivels the table out. Gotta go the other way. So it'll swivel it out and lock in that way so someone can sit there. Uh, with the door, sliding door closed, there is a cushion in this right here. So that cushion will go against uh, that door to make a backrest. And then when you're done with this, you just pull down and rotate it back. And then to make a bed, uh, so there's a little push pin right here. You push that, that leg folds like that. And let's see. I believe. How does this work? Oh yeah, it just pops up. Okay, so there's little plastic pieces there. Uh, you just pull up on the table uh, and it'll come out and then it just kind of folds down and then you slide it out of the way. It's a little hard one-handed, but you slide it out of the way uh, and then it'll go down and then you uh, put the cushions on top of it. There. And then it'll sit down like that. Uh, and then you can put this cushion on top. Just like that. Then this slides forward. And then there's a cushion up here. Ugh. And on the back of the cushion, there's a little slot right here with this pole. And it just sits in that groove right there and in there. I think that way. Yep. Uh, then if you lift that table up, it makes it a little easier. Uh, there's Velcro on this side, which will sit there. And then it just kind of sits there. Or actually, it should go the other way. Yeah. My bad. So you flip it around. Makes more sense. That way it's closer. And then the cushion in here. Will sit right in here. And make the bed. So there's another bed right here. Uh, for guests. Alright. Then under this cushion right here. Uh, you pull this up. This is where the water heater and furnace is. Uh, drains for the fresh water tank. And the water heater. Alright. Just pick that up right there. Alright. So then here you have... Your radio, uh, it's also a DVD player on CD player, so you can play music and movies uh, through here. And this is uh, what they call the coach uh, radio, uh, so that plays throughout the camper part of the vehicle. 
and then up front you also have the car radio uh, so that's separate uh, you have a couple lights under here and some speakers and a 12 volt plug and then your tv uh, just on this side you pull it out and there's some storage uh, and your tv's already hooked up and stuff so you don't have to mess with that uh, this panel right here is the solar charge controller uh, so it tells you how many volts you're getting uh, and then if you hit the amp volt it'll tell you how many amps you're getting uh, and how many amps an hour you're getting uh, right now it's pretty cloudy out and i'm sure there's there might be a little snow on top of the solar panels so it's not going to work too well right now uh, then you have an inverter control right there uh, so you just press that on and the inverter will come on uh, then here uh, you can check your tank levels so your fresh water your propane uh, your gray and black tank then you can check the battery voltages uh, you can turn on your water pump here and you can start and stop the generator right here and check how many hours are on it uh, so it's hardly been used it's only got 0.1 hour on it uh, and to start the generator uh, you just hit start and it does auto start uh, which it won't turn on because we're plugged in right now uh, so just hit stop there and then this right here uh, this control is the furnace the water heater and so you just click the p button right here uh, that is for the furnace uh, click it again and then you can turn it up to what temperature you want and then once you get there it'll automatically come on and then turn it off you just scroll it to the left until it says off then hit the back button then you got your water temperature uh, and that's for the electric for the water and then uh, the vent so you can have it on or off and then that's everything on that and then hit the back button again and it'll just go back to the time all right um you got a couple you got an outlet here with some drawers all these drawers are push button so pushed in it's locked push in it'll pop out and that's unlocked uh, you got remotes for the radio and tv in there and here's empty and that's empty all right your fridge is right here uh, so there's a little lock right here while traveling uh, and then you just lift up on that then you have your fridge and then underneath is the freezer and just lock that back up and then you have a regular household microwave uh, you have a little remote right here, and that's for that fan right there. Uh, you can control it that way, or you can do it manually with those buttons. Uh, so you have open and close, uh, on, um, crank it open. Uh, you have a couple light switches. Uh, so this first or last one whatever uh, is for the lights up there uh, so you have dim and bright uh, so up is dim down is bright uh, then that one right there is for those lights and then this one right here I believe it, yeah it's for that light right there and then light switch here for these lights uh, a couple more light switches here so this one first one right here will be for your bathroom light uh, this one will be for the bedroom lights uh, and then this one is the kitchen lights all right so then your stove you have your stove and sink right here 
so these lids just fold up uh, and then your sink right here uh, that flips up and you can rotate it and then you have hot and cold water just open like that and then twist it for hot and cold so that's close and then open the faucet hot and cold and then when you're traveling just twist that and put it back down and put your cover on and then you have then you have your stove here uh, turn on your uh, gas valve uh, turn that to light uh, push and hold it uh, gas isn't on so it's not gonna light uh, but you turn it to that little spark right there push and hold it and then hit the that switch right there and that'll hit the sparker all right uh some more storage up here uh, and this has the manuals uh to the unit there and then your bathroom uh, so you got your little sink, uh, mirror, uh, the shower head, and your toilet. The toilet has a foot lever on the right, uh, and then there's a little hose that right there. Um, to use that hose, you have to use a foot lever. Or actually, there's actually just a little button on the back. Uh, you got some storage there. Uh, when you're taking a shower, uh, you can button this up to block the toilet so it doesn't get too wet. Uh, then in here is where the toilet paper is stored uh, so that don't get wet. Um, and then the shower, it's got these wooden uh, planks on it so uh, you can stand on it and then the water will flow through it. Uh, under this one... Uh, there's a little cap right here, so you unscrew that before you take your shower. And the water will go down in there. And then um, it doesn't drain like a normal shower would. There's actually a pump right here to pump it to the gray tank. Alright. Uh, and then you have a little vent right here when you're taking a shower. Uh, you just push up on it, it'll open the vent, and then you can turn on the fan to vent it out. And then when you're done, just pull down and it'll close it. Uh, and your shower door is strapped on right here. And then that just pulls open like that. And then when you're done and traveling, just lock it back up. Okay, and then you have down here behind this little cover is your 110 breakers and it's all labeled right here uh, just like your house uh, regular out, uh, breakers uh, a bunch of storage along here and in there uh, you got this nice little uh, velcro mesh storage here a uh, little rack here and more storage there. And then the bed uh, has like a seat belt holding it up. So you unclick it and it'll come down. And this bed frame actually has built in kind of springs. Because um, the mattress doesn't have springs in it. It's just kind of foam. Uh, so the mattress will lay down on that. And that's what makes it a little squishy. Uh, then you have your window with a shade that pulls up uh, an outlet and then when you're using the bed that buckle climb up here that buckle will just click in right here just like that so it's not in your way uh, and then when you're putting the bed up uh, just unbuckle it then you have a couple lights uh, night lights up here reading lights that turn on right there same with that one. Uh, little cubby right there. Uh, and then you have these blind or shade blind things that go over those windows. 
uh, for privacy. And then those uh, covers right there for the front uh, for privacy when you're camping. And the bed just folds back up when you're done. Grab the seat belt. Just clicks back on and it's stored away. Uh, under here uh, is the converter uh, right there. Um, so if something's not working, you can check a fuse down in there. Um, but you shouldn't have any problems. And then this screen. I don't know where it went to. I think it went to that window over there. Um, but we can check that out when you get here. And that is everything um, besides all the stuff up there, which is pretty basic, uh, just like a regular car. Uh, there are Those things up there are shades that go over the front windows um, to cover the windshield. Uh, so that's everything to do with the Winnebago Travado.